Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and welcome to another installment of my FAQ series where I cover common questions that I receive in my comments and through emails. And today we're going to cover the restore process. A lot of people get confused if they lose their device or damage their device and they're no longer able to use it. They need to know how to regain access to their cryptocurrency. So I'm going to go through the process for you. We'll keep it short and simple. But I do want to point out that a lot of people make this a lot more complicated than it really needs to be. They think they need to do something with Ledger Live, like do a reset or something like that. No, all you've done in this scenario is lost your device. Now think of your device as your car keys. If you lose your car keys, you don't need a new car. You just need a new set of keys. So maybe you have a spare set in your dresser drawer, or maybe you need to go down to the car dealership and have them cut you a new set of keys. But the point here is that you know you don't need a new car. You just need access to that car. That's what your hardware device is. It's like the car keys for your crypto accounts. So Ledger Live already has all the information set up pointing to all of your accounts out there on the blockchain. All we need to do here is restore a new Ledger device so that it is a carbon copy of your original device or a new set of keys to all of your crypto. So I'm gonna go through the process and keep that in mind as we do this. All right, so basically we're looking at my existing Ledger Live. So in this scenario, I've lost my device. I can no longer authorize transactions. So I can still look at my accounts. I can still look at my transaction history. I can see my balances, but I don't have access to this without my key or my device. So what we need is a new device that is a carbon copy of our original device. And that's what the restore process is going to do for us. So we don't need to do anything with Ledger Live. But when we are done with our restore, I am going to go into Ledger Live so that we can confirm that our restore was successful. So let's jump in. All right, so here's what we need. This is our backup phrase that we wrote down when we first set up our original device. Now, in order to take advantage of this backup phrase, we're going to need a new device, right? So I've bought a brand new device as a replacement, right? We lost our old device or our old device got damaged, water damaged, whatever happened to it. It's no longer functioning. We need a replacement, right? So we get ourselves a new device and we'll go ahead and just take it out of the box. All right, it's got some uh, tape film over it. All right, this is a brand new empty device, right? It might have enough charge to go through this uh, process, but uh, you can always plug it in while you're doing this. I'll just go through these initial steps here. All right, now uh, I'm not going to use Ledger Live. I know what I need to do, I need to run the restore. So I'm not gonna have Ledger Live walk me through all this. I've been through this many times, so I'm just going to show you how to do this right on your device. So we'll say set up without Ledger Live, we'll skip Ledger Live, and then let's go ahead and name our device. All right, name it whatever you want. We'll confirm that. All right, and then we'll tap to continue. We need to set up a pin. Now, a lot of people get confused about this step too. They think they need to, to use their uh, original pin. Uh, that's not necessary. We can still restore the device and make a carbon copy, uh, but it doesn't need to have the original pin on there. You can choose the same pin if you want to, or you can choose a different pin. It doesn't matter. It's just the local access to this particular device. We'll hit continue here. We'll choose that pin. 
All right, and after we're done with that, we'll tap to continue. And then uh, we're going to choose how to set this up. This is the important step. A lot of people get confused about this and they think, well, it's a brand new device, so I should set it up as new. No, we don't set it up as new. We're going to do the restore from the original seed phrase from our first device, not this device. We're going to use this code on this device to create a carbon copy of our original device. So we'll hit restore and then we'll choose restore with recovery phrase. All right, this is a 24 word seed phrase, so we'll choose 24 words. And then it just wants us to enter the words. So it's pretty easy. We just start typing. As soon as we hit that first letter, we're going to see some choices here. My word is West, uh, but I don't see West here. Uh, just keep typing. And then we'll see our word, right? And then we just go on to the next word. A little hint here. Is if you type the first four letters of any word on this list, you will only have one choice, right? All of the words are um, unique in f up to four letters, right? So there are no words uh, beyond the fourth letter uh, where there's more than one word, right? Once you've typed in the first four letters, they know which word you're after, right? Let's just keep going down the line. Uh, it's what's nice about the stacks is you can make mistakes and use the backspace key. So if I type the wrong letter um, and I see that I'm off track, I can just back up. Also, you can back up to the previous word using the back arrow at the top. So if you need to go back to th uh, word three, if you made a mistake, you can back out. Um, in the older Legend Nano X, you weren't allowed to back out once you had completed a word. So that's what makes the stacks interface very nice. So let's just go ahead and finish up. All right, and once you have that last word in there, it's going to go through the confirmation process and it'll tell you that you've successfully done your restore. Now you might r hit some snags. You might uh, misread your words. Uh, you may have actually written your words down incorrectly from the get-go. Uh, if that's the case, you're probably going to get an invalid seed phrase uh, message. Sometimes it will occur in the middle of the restore process. The word that you're on will just, if you try to use it, it will uh, tell you it's invalid. Or the word that you have written down will not appear on your device. Uh, now, there are a few ways to get around this. Uh, there is a, um, an official 2048 word list uh, on the BIP39 website, which I will leave a link to, that lists all of the possible words in a seed phrase, right? There's only 2048. Uh, so that narrows it down. I think there's like four or 500,000 words in the English language. You only have to worry about those 2,048. So if your, uh, your words are incorrect, you've uh, written them down wrong, or you've looked at them wrong, uh, refer to that list. You might figure out the correct word, right? Uh, just in case, right? But in our case, we were fine. We got through the list. Uh, so once we've done this, let's go ahead and tap to continue. Tells you. Uh, some stuff about the secret phrase. No one should see it. I'm showing you mine because it's just a dummy phrase, right? There's no crypto in this configuration. I'm just using this as a demo. It's a valid seed phrase, but it's an empty one, right? Now we're done. And now we've got our device configured and we're ready to roll. So all we need to do now, uh, we can uh, go into our settings if we want to. Uh, or we can just connect it, enter our PIN, and then let's go back over to Ledger Live and confirm that we've got this thing configured properly. All right. Here's another stumbling block that I'd like to point out before we go over and do our confirmations. And that is a lot of people after the restore, they notice there are no apps on the device. And then they'll send me uh, panic messages uh, in their comments and emails. 
hey, I just did my restore and all of my crypto has gone. Where is my crypto? Well, uh, your master private key will always regenerate the exact same addresses every single time. But it does not remember the apps that you have installed on the device, right? You're going to need to reinstall your apps. But don't worry, uh, they will point to the same wallets that you had your balances in. And it's really easy to get our apps reinstalled in Ledger Live. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I'm in Ledger Live, and as you can see, uh, everything in Ledger Live is still intact, right? So I have access to all of the accounts that I set up with my original device. So we want to confirm that this new device has been configured properly to be the carbon copy or the replacement set of keys, right? Uh, even though the apps are not on it, it is, uh, it does have the uh, master private key, which will generate all these keys. Uh, I know that's a mouthful, but let me explain how this works. We just go into uh, the first account and then we do a receive. I'm going to show you what's going on on the device, right? When we hit receive, we're, we're basically just running a test hardware check, right? So uh, we'll hit continue here. Now it looks at the device that's attached and it checks the app dependencies. It's checking to see whether the AVAX app is on the device. It doesn't find it. So it's going to install it for us automatically, right? So you don't have to remember the apps. You don't have to reinstall the apps. Just let Ledger Live do it. Just go through all of your accounts and do a test receive. All right, it's installing the AVAX app. There it is. Now it wants me to open it, so I will tap open. All right, the Avalanche app is open, and now it's checking the address, right? Uh, it says verify address. We'll swipe over one. All right, and there it is. You can see the address on the device and the address in Ledger Live and note that they match, right? This is basically the hardware check. We'll just hit continue. Boom, address verified. Now we know that this device is connected uh, and configured properly, All right? Now let's just go down to each account. Uh, if one account matches, you can rest assured that the rest of them are going to match too uh, because uh, the device has the same private key. So uh, we know already that the device has been restored properly, right? But we do want to reinstall all of the apps we had on there before. So let's just go through each account, do a receive, let it check to see if the app is on the device. If it's not, it will install it for us and run the hardware check. All right, it wants me to open the app. This case, In this case, it's the Ton app. All right, it uh, wants me to verify, so I need to swipe to continue. All right, there's the Ton address. I can see it on my device and in Ledger Live and confirm they are the same. Boom, we've just confirmed that. Now let's just go down to the next account, Solana. We'll do a receive. Now it's going to check to see if we have the Solana app. If we do not, it will install it for us. It's going to ask us to open the app, it's going to ask us to verify the address. There it is. See that they match. Hit confirm. And let's see that I have a Bitcoin account here. We'll hit receive. It's going to check to see if I have the Bitcoin app and then it will install it if it does not find it. All right, and then it wants us to open Bitcoin. It's going to uh, do the hardware check, and then it asks us to verify. There's that Bitcoin address. We see it on the screen. We see it on our device. We hit confirm. We're good to go. Uh, I've got one more here. It's going to check for the Ethereum app. If it doesn't find it, it will install it for me. All right, we'll open. We'll verify, all right, we'll notice, note the addresses match, we'll hit confirm, 
All right, so we've confirmed all of those accounts. You may have some third party apps on there that you're not using in Ledger Live. Um, you probably know what those are. If you're savvy, uh, I have Monero on here, so I can just go into the My Ledger. Whoops. <laughs> I'll let you see what's going on here. Uh, I just go into the My Ledger section if I need to reinstall some apps. Search for my app, right? And then just go over to this side and hit install. And I can install any third party apps that I had on there too. And I can use those third party wallets to confirm that this device is configured correctly. But like I said, if one account matches, they're all going to match right so that's it uh, it's really easy to uh, do the recover from seed phrase you don't have to touch ledger live ledger live is fine it's intact we just need a brand new set of keys to uh, access our uh, ledger live right think of it as uh, the spare set of keys right we've just created a carbon copy of our original device which has the keys necessary to unlock all of our crypto. Now, of course, we would also use this device if we were going to do a send, right? That if you were trying to send crypto back to an exchange or to a friend or something like that, of course, we know it's going to work because we've already done the hardware check with our test receives. So you're back in business. All we really needed to do was replace the device, buy a new device, do the restore from seed phrase, connect it to Ledger Live and confirm everything worked and you're back in business. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.